Giovanni Maria Gianni Versace was an Italian fashion designer and founder of Versace, an international fashion house that produces accessories, fragrances, makeup, home furnishings, and clothes. He also designed costumes for theater and films. As a friend of Eric Clapton, Diana, Princess of Wales, Naomi Campbell, Duran Duran, Kate Moss, Madonna, Elton John, Cher, Sting, Tupac, The Notorious B.I.G., and many other celebrities, he was one of the first designers to link fashion to the music world. He and his partner Antonio D'Amico were regulars on the international party scene. On 15 July 1997, Versace was shot and killed outside his Miami Beach mansion Casa Casarina at the age of 50 by Andrew Cunanan. Giovanni Maria Versace was born in the city of Reggio Calabria, Italy on 2 December 1946, and grew up with his elder brother Santo Versace and younger sister Donatella Versace, along with their father and dressmaker mother, Francesca. An older sister, Tina, died at age 12 because of an improperly treated tetanus infection. Versace was strongly influenced by ancient Greek history, which dominates the historical landscape of his birthplace. He attended Liceo Classico Tommaso Campanella, where he studied Latin and ancient Greek, without completing the course. He was also influenced by Andy Warhol. Versace began his apprenticeship at a young age, at his mother's sewing business, which employed up to a dozen seamstresses. He became interested in architecture before moving to Milan at the age of 26 to work in fashion design. In 1973, he became the designer of Byblos, a successful Jenny's youthful line, and in 1977, he designed Complice, another, more experimental, line for Jenny. A few years later, encouraged by his success, Versace presented his first signature collection for women at the Palazzo della Permanente Art Museum of Milan. His first fashion show followed in September of the same year. His first boutique was opened in Milan's Via della Spiga in 1978. After opening his Milan boutique in 1972, Versace quickly became a sensation on the international fashion scene. His designs employed vivid colors, bold prints, and sexy cuts, which were a refreshing contrast to the prevailing taste for muted colors and simplicity. His aesthetic, combined luxurious classicism with overt sexuality, attracted much criticism in addition to praise. He is quoted as saying, I don't believe in good taste, which was reflected in his brazen defiance of the rules of fashion, a saying referencing Versace's rivalry with Giorgio Armani was, Armani dresses the wife, Versace dresses the mistress. From 1978, Versace built the company with the support of his family, employing his sister Donatella as vice president and his brother Santo as president of the company. Donatella's purview extended to creative oversight, where she acted as a key consultant to Versace. Johnny would also come to employ Donatella's husband, Paul Beck, as menswear director. Among Versace's most famous innovations was his 1982 invention of a type of super light chainmail called Erotin, which became a signature material in his outfits. His suits were inspired more by his experience in female tailoring, departing from masculine Savile Row models by crafting suits which accentuated the male form and insisted on men as sex objects. Versace was very proud of his southern Italian heritage and infused his designs with motifs inspired by historical fashion and art movements, especially Greco-Roman art. This is evident in the company's logo, the Medusa head, and recurring motifs like the Greek key. He also allowed his love for contemporary art to inspire his work, creating graphic prints based on the art of Roy Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol. In 1982, Versace expanded the business into jewelry and housewares, designing luxury furnishings, china, and textiles for the home. He was unusual in retaining complete creative control over all aspects of his company. In 1989, the firm expanded into haute couture with the launch of Atelier Versace. Versace became known for employing celebrities in his marketing campaigns and seating them in the front rows of his fashion shows, the first to do so. He is also credited with inventing the supermodel Vogue of the 1990s, by discovering and featuring major supermodels like Naomi Campbell, Christy Turlington, and Linda Evangelista, all of whom he featured both on the runway and in his ad campaigns. At the time of his death, Versace's empire, 